hi i hope you're all well i've literally got you balanced on a cherry aid tin so i'm hoping you don't fall over obviously i have not uploaded a video in months i've filmed stuff right but then i edit the videos and i'm like right let's get this uploaded and then i watch it back and i'm like no we're not uploading that and then i just don't upload i do this all the time i honestly probably could have had about 20 videos uploaded by now but I'm my own worst enemy, do you know that? I've had a lot of questions recently on my denture video and I'm really sorry I haven't replied yet, but I will reply as soon as I can. Um, I have had a few of you reach out to me uh, asking questions, which I don't mind at all because I know some people obviously publicly don't want to be asking certain things and that's perfectly fine. I'm just a, I'm just a small person on the internet, so I can happily reply to any questions that you have. I know a lot of you have said you're going through the same thing and thank you for my video. And I just want to thank you all for like your support because when I was going through getting my denture, you know, I felt really traumatized by it, to be honest, because you only get one set of teeth really. Once your baby teeth fall out, you only get your adult teeth. And when they're gone, they're gone. And I feel like only people who have lost their teeth will understand what it's like to have missing teeth and especially front teeth because that's what people see the most so i'm actually about to get my new denture on the 15th of june i was supposed to get it like two three weeks ago but i was really ill and i had to cancel the appointment so i would have had it by now but i'm now waiting until june i'm not gonna lie i'm anxious about it i mean even though i've been through this whole procedure i'm still anxious <laughs> We've been decorating, so I thought I'd quickly show you some of the stuff that we've done so far. So we did our bathroom up last year. Um, I can't remember if I have a before, but if I do, I will insert it for you so that you can see. Um, but if not, it was literally like a wet room and I absolutely hated it. The walls were going mouldy and we thought it was time to renovate it, so I'll quickly show you. So we've just kind of decorated our hallway. It's not actually finished. We actually need to paint the walls and freshen them up and our doors need painted because they currently just have like a primer on them. So we still have all that to do. I'm kind of waiting until like the kids are away to Josh's mum's so that I can just have the time and peace to do it with it. I'm just screaming and shout to everybody to not touch the walls or touch the doors. So yeah, but I'm gonna quickly show you. This is the main entrance into our house so it's quite a narrow hallway and it's really long there's the dog um so this is like the door that we used to come in so i'm gonna paint it um so we got this flooring from b and q i just wanted something quite dark just keep the walls fresh and white so like i say they need to be freshened up because they have got like kids fingerprints marks husband fingerprint marks you name it they're there so we got these doors put on the other weekend I'm so happy with them because the other doors we had on were like these brown wooden ones and they just I just didn't like them they didn't suit the house that I wanted you know it didn't suit how I was decorating so this is the bathroom that we decorated um last year and I couldn't be any more happier with it like I just love how simple it is I love just like the neutral and then adding like the touch of black so that's our bathroom so i'm pleased with how that has turned out and this is like the rest of the hallway so i just got this mirror today um so this hallway table was actually from amazon and i actually have the white one the white ones in the living room so i got the mirror delivered today from Dunelm. It was £40. I think it was like a special buy thing. I can't even remember. But this vase, I love this vase so much. So this was from Refined Homes UK. I will link them in the description box for you because they have got so much nice stuff. So they have like those ginger jars, which I'm considering getting one of those. And um, so these flowers are just like a big mixture of different flowers from different places. I think like these were from Home Base. The eucalyptus, I got like a big bunch of them down in price from TK Maxx they're like down to £10 so I just kind of split them between this vase and another vase that I have and then most of these bunches like this was the range Amazon um yeah they were home base so there's just like a mixture in there 
And then this was from H&M, but I laughed when it arrived because I actually thought the book was going to be bigger. It's a little book. Um, but I basically just bought it just to sit on the table. So yeah, it's not a big deal. And then I just got that to sit on it as well. So I love how this has turned out. So because the mirror just got delivered today, it's not actually up on the wall yet. Um, but the only issue I'm having is because my hallway is so like long and narrow, ideally I would love the hallway table to like be here with like the mirror, but I feel like it would just be in the way. But then I feel like it would look really odd just having a hallway table there. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Um, but, oh. This is the other side. This is kind of like where the utility area is and like the fridge, washing machine, that kind of thing. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like my hallway table looks a bit random there, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. So I'm currently in bed. I have actually had a headache all day. And it's literally driving me insane. Like, I feel like it's making my eyes a little bit fuzzy and it doesn't help that I'm literally sat on my phone. So, Josh and the boys are a wee go karting. So, I'm just at home with the girls. But Georgia's watching TV. I need to go tidy up from supper time. Like, I cannot, like, go to bed knowing that the kitchen is still a mess. So, I have to go get that done now before I get too comfortable. Then I need to go take my makeup off, which I cannot be bothered to do. But yeah. But um, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday. So I'm just about to go and get the kids up for school. The boys are awake, but Georgia's not. She's always a nightmare in the mornings. So I need to go get her up. Uh, I'm thinking about once I drop the kids off at school, I'm going to head to Home Bargains because I need to stock up on like crests and like snacks and stuff like that for the kids for school. So I think I'm going to go there for a quick look. So I will bring you along with me and see what there is. I'm back from my little shopping trip. And I thought I would show you what I bought. Um, do a little wee haul. I've actually had a delivery from ASOS, which I'll show you as well. So I got this bed covers because I only have one bed set because I chucked so many out and I like to just wash it and put it back on that same day because it smells fresh but I was like you know what this is it's always handy to have a couple more so I got this and then for the bottom of my bed for Decker I got this bed spread it's just like a like a taupe colour so I thought that'd be nice and I'm planning to paint my room at some point because um, I need to like freshen it up. It's all grey. It was painted grey when we moved in. So, so Georgia got her some new school shoes from Asda. These were literally five pounds. Don't know how well they'll last, but uh, I thought I'd just get her these because she's wearing trainers at the moment. So when I was in home bargains, I was having a look at the clothing section, and I actually saw this really nice. Um, like two piece set so I thought I would buy it so I got this jumper um, it's like a beige and then the shorts to match so they're just like a sweatshirt set and I mean the top was um, six pounds and the shorts was five pounds five pounds for a pair of shorts cannot go wrong and then for jackson i got him these gray sweatshirt shorts uh and they were four pounds and i mean for the kids just to roam about in for summer there was black as well but i just got gray because he's got quite a lot of black shorts for school so yeah got that and this is the hair dye that i use on my hair i do sometimes get questions asking like what i put on my hair um, so usually I like bleach up my roots because my roots aren't like overly dark. They're like a, a greyish like brown, probably like an ash, ash brown, I think. I don't know. Um, I did do hairdressing when I left school for two years, but I didn't, I didn't take it on as a career. It wasn't for me. Anyway, this is a hair dye that I use 
Um, I won't bother bleaching up my roots this time. I will just put this on and it just freshens up my blonde because it can go a little bit yellow. Um, and as you can see, it needs a freshen up. And I notice as well, when my hair needs dyed, it gets really greasy. It drives me insane. Um, but yeah, I also got just a plain white long sleeve top to wear with like jeans when it's a little bit chilly outside. I got Georgia a new drink bottle because she already has this one but it's really worn now and she uses it for school. But I love like the stainless steel bottles for kids because it just keeps their juice cold all day and I mean this was literally like a pound something. It wasn't expensive at all. I also got Stevie some hair dye. I don't know what that hair dye will be like because I've never used that one but we'll try and see. Anyway I've got a spray mop so I bought some new spray pads. I got some new makeup brushes because I definitely needed desperately needed some so I got a couple of those. Got some plasters for the kids and plasters for me. They're always handy to have in the house. Cotton pads. Um, I got these freeze pops for the kids. The kids always eat ice lollies and they go through them like they're going out of fashion. And then I got some lady bits. Uh, and then I just got like stuff, biscuits, stuff like that. So anyway, I've just gotten my delivery from ASOS. I bought new trainers and I wasn't sure what size to get. I actually ordered your um, CDs from Adidas shirts. Oh, I actually sold those yesterday, so they're not here yet. So, oh, I've got a sample. Clinique. So, I bought the Adidas Black Gazelle trainers. But I took a six and a half because I'm usually a six. But depending on the brand, like sometimes I need a six and a half. But yeah, with these, like I feel like they look really faded. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm going to like these. I'll try them on anyway and see. I feel like I'm just getting a moment to myself and I'm literally going to have to go collect the kids soon. Alexa, what time is it? It's 2.15 Yeah, so I'm just going to leave in like 25 minutes. So I'm just going to have a seat for a moment. I've got all my washing hung out. It's a beautiful windy day, so... I feel like when you reach like a certain age, you just get so excited over slow little things like putting your washing out, buying a new chopping board, buying a new mop. What is life? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. Obviously, it's a little bit different. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know if you actually enjoyed it or not. Uh, I don't know if I'm probably going to do weekly vlogs yet. I'll see how this one goes. Uh, but obviously, I get my new denture in June, which I will be uploading for you once I get it. Um, and updating you how I'm getting on with that but thank you for watching and you'll see me on my next video bye